Hello students. In today's lecture, we will understand how to display prime number using infinite for loop. With the help of program, we will understand the concept. In a main function, we have declared four variables of type int, choice, n, i, and flag. Choice is initialized with value zero. Now the control comes to infinite for loop for and then two semicolon, which means condition is always true. Now in for loop, flag is assigned value zero. Now printf statement print enter the number to check prime. Using scanf, user enter value of n. Suppose user enter 23. Now again, we have a for loop. For i equal to two, two is less than equal to 23 divided by two, which is two is less than equal to 11, which is true. So control comes inside for loop and in for loop, condition is checked. If 23 mod two equal to zero, which is false. Now i is incremented by one. Two plus one is three. And again, condition is checked in for loop. Three is less than equal to 11, which is true. So again, control comes inside for loop and check condition. So this procedure is continued until we don't find a value of i such that n mod i is zero. If we are able to find a value of i, then printf statement print number is not prime and flag is set to one. And with the help of break, control comes out of for loop. But if we are not able to find any value of i, then flag is set to zero and condition is checked. If flag equal to zero, which is true. So printf statement print number is prime. Now next printf statement print. Do you want to continue? Press one or zero. If user again want to enter a number, user press one. So if choice is one, then continue the process. And if choice is zero, then come out of infinite for loop using break. And our program ends here. Here is the output. Enter the number to check prime. User enter 23. Number is prime. Do you want to continue? Press one or zero. Suppose user press one. Again, enter the number to check prime. User enter 44. Number is not prime. Do you want to continue? Press one or zero. User press zero to stop the process. So we end our lecture today. Thank you.